Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This is the continuation video of our Django and React series. And in this video, we'll be looking into installing and configuring the course headers uh, library and uh, the Django REST framework. So giving you a brief on the previous video, in the previous video, we have uh, looked into installing the Django project, creating a super admin uh, for our admin panel, uh, using the migration commands to migrate our migrate things in our app and uh, basic uh, uh, look around of the Django boilerplate app itself. So moving on uh, forward with our uh, series, uh, in this video we'll be performing uh, installation and uh, setting up the course policies for our app and uh, installing and uh, configuring the Django REST framework. So this is uh, what you're looking over here. So this is the uh, framework which we are going to install. And this is the course headers uh, library. So coming on to installation of this both uh, dependencies. So first of all, you can copy this uh, from the clipboard itself, copy the command and uh, if you navigate to your VS code, so this is basically our uh, folder structure which you are maintaining and from this video onwards, I'll be uh, uh, providing you the code also. So for you guys to be in sync if you have uh, missed anything in this uh, video series. So this is, of, this is the same exact folder structure from our previous video. So there's nothing new in it all the basic uh, files and folders within that. So navigate to your terminal, make sure you are within your uh, uh, backend main folder. Now you can just uh, paste the command which you have copied that is pip install Django course header for uh, guys with running, running on Linux. Maybe you can use this pip3 install Django course headers. I've already done this, so let's move ahead. The second thing you need to install is the Django REST framework. So you can just copy this and uh, install this. Same for the Linux. If you have a Linux system, please uh, do perform a pip3 install if you have a, a Python 2 version. So yeah, this is also done from my end. So I'll just walk you through the settings and configuration of it. So whatever I'm performing in this uh, video, that is the uh, adding few lines of uh, configurable uh, variables is uh, covered from the documentation of its itself. So let me just walk you through that. So adding this uh, um, value to the install apps, the middleware section, the course allowed origins uh, variable and few other things are taken from the documentation itself so if you want to carry out that way it's fine but uh, it's uh, a part of the process for me to cover this so yeah this is also crucial same for the django rest framework installing things in the app let me just So everything is taken from the documentation, everything. So this configuration, a few inside, if you dig into this, you will get it, but I'll make sure you don't have to do that. And you can just copy everything from my settings or clone the repo, which I'm going to provide you and uh, get able to start with that. Yeah. So everything which I'm performing in this video is coming through the documentation itself. So moving on to this uh, code section, after installation of both these libraries using pip command, navigate to my backend folder and uh, the main uh, settings.py. So this is our main settings uh, uh, file, which will have all the configuration regarding our uh, REST framework. So the first thing you need to add is this allowed all host so 
this will basically allow all the requests in your front end uh, without any uh, exception so it is just like a uh, not mandatory thing but if you put this in your uh, settings it will be good uh, there, there won't be an issue the second thing is adding these three lines so this is for the odd token which will uh, be generating uh, which will generate the odd token and this is the cost headers uh, app so these are the three lines which will be adding after installing both these libraries so first is you will add this then within the install apps add these three lines the more detailed part of this will be coming in the further videos for right now just to install this the next thing you which will be doing is the middleware section so within the middleware section add these two lines and uh, the next thing which is uh, let's navigate to the bottom adding this uh, part of code uh, which is the rest framework so this is all coming from the documentation itself uh, as i've shown you over here but there are a few more things which i've added so yeah which is the basic authentication session token and token authentication so this is something which i've added along with the permissions or this one this uh, specific thing from this part and uh, yeah this is that itself the last thing you need to do is copy this uh, course allows all origins is equal to true make sure you add this line as well nothing uh, much in this file now so these are all things which will be requiring you can just uh, see what of what all things have added and yeah this is the only file which you will be uh, changing in this video there's nothing much we are doing in it we will be going step by step so first change add this the second is this third you will be adding these two lines in the middleware right after that you can directly add this cause allow origin is equal to true and at the end you will add this uh, piece of code so for all this uh, I'll give you a brief explanation in the further videos but for now just add it yeah uh, so this was it for the configuration of these two both libraries which we have installed and the rest stays same so yeah uh, this was it for this video guys uh, in the next video we'll be looking into how you can uh, store media files within your django app so that will be also a configuration part or nothing uh, more on it so yeah this was it for this video guys if you have any questions queries and concerns please feel free to comment down below and thanks for watching.